Hello everyone. Welcome to Postcode Academy's YouTube channel. In India, every year 15 lakh students graduate as an engineer. But how many of them are able to build a good career? The numbers are very low. And the reason is not lack of job opportunities, but it is lack of skilled engineers. So to solve this and to understand it deeply, today we have invited Mr. Rajat Kar, who himself is an NIT Delhi graduate and has cleared Microsoft along with other top companies as well. Rajat has worked for 3 years at Microsoft. During his time at Microsoft, Rajat worked with a lot of engineers outside and inside of the company. This developed his understanding about the hiring in these top world companies. He saw college graduates can make sure that they are able to not only crack the interviews but first get shortlisted as well. So without further ado, let's start the video. Hi everyone, Rajat has finally joined us. Thank you for joining Rajat. and uh, we will take this opportunity to get as many insights as we can uh, from someone who has already cracked microsoft uh, after uh, being a student at nit delhi so rajat uh, thank you for joining us today thank you noor for uh, joining me it's a pleasure to be here thank you and uh, why not we start off with a little introduction can you please uh, give us a little bit details about yourself Yes, yes, sure. So, uh, hey, hi, everyone. I am Rajat. Uh, so, I graduated from NIT Delhi, and post my graduation from NIT, I joined Microsoft as a software developer. I have worked for three years at Microsoft, and post Microsoft, me and Manish started Bosco Pro Academy, uh, and right now I am the director for the software engineering division at Bosco. Right. So, you mentioned you cracked. Uh, Microsoft uh, while being at NIT Delhi. Uh, I'm just curious, like, uh, how many people from your batch like crack Microsoft alongside you? Okay, okay. So uh, I am from a new NIT. NIT Delhi is one of the newest NITs. So I was the only person uh, in that year mm-hmm. to crack Microsoft from NIT Delhi. So that is great, uh, Rajat, and uh, I am sure a lot of other people must have got. Uh, good outcomes too, but uh, what is it that you did differently from others that you got selected in Microsoft while others could not crack it? So I think few things which I did differently. One of them is since I have a <coughs> elder brother Manish, uh, who is an IIT Dhanbad alumni, who was already working at Samsung at the time I was in college. So he always provided me the right guidance and mentorship I needed. right so that is the first aspect that always from the first year i have the right guidance and right mentorship from manish the second being since manish was my mentor he helped me understand what are the right skills i should focus on so while some of my friends were working on full stack development projects or web development projects or mobile app development or blockchain or machine learning i was focusing on building my problem solving skills in data structures and algorithms from day one and then once i become comfortable in it then i started focusing on cs fundamentals bit of system design and project development so i focused on building the right skills from day one itself that is i think another thing that i did differently from others so the third aspect that i also see in myself is that i am a very very consistent person mm. so before uh microsoft i the first company i got placed in was amazon okay and before amazon i failed interview at goldman sachs at fidelity at smart bricks then i got placed at amazon hmm. and microsoft so i have been very very consistent throughout right. my <coughs> first year second year third year final year consistently building upon my skill set even if there are failures i learn from them and keep on building upon my skill So I think these three were major aspects in which I was a big different from some of my other batch mates. So you mentioned you have given a lot of interviews, and uh, I think you learned a lot from them as well. I think you have a fair idea of what skills are needed to crack top rated companies as a college student. So can you give me some details about this, like what skills are needed? Yes, a very important question, Noor. Thank you for asking it. So basically, when you are a college student, you 
it is really important that you start focusing on building the right skills rather than just building some skill sets which are not going to be very relevant when you go into product based companies interviews so the right skills that you should build as a college student to get into these top product based companies is the first one being problem solving in data structures and algorithms okay. very 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 important so in this you will be given these coding problems of data structures and algorithms and you have to solve these problems in the most optimized way and in the correct format so that is the first very very important skill set okay the second one being fundamentals around computer science topics for example operating system computer network dbms object oriented programming these four are very very fundamental topics and asked in every interviews and mcq questions as a college student the third one which i have we have started seeing that a lot of companies have started including system design for college students as well recently mm. so having basic understanding and fundamental understanding around right. designing systems is also important as a college student in the current scenario and finally you should have some projects in your resume these projects can align to your interest mm. these projects can be around full stack development front end back end can be around app development can be around machine learning blockchain web3 technologies augmented reality whatever you really love into tech you should have multiple projects around one of those mm. specialization so i think if you focus on these four four skill set then you will can easily crack any top product based company interviews so rajat you had a very good uh, job at microsoft uh, and you have a career for 3 years at microsoft uh, so what inspired you to start boss coder academy and start a program for helping out college students get placed in top product companies yes yes so noor uh, as i talked about my journey of college when i see a lot of my batch mates which were as much talented as i was but not able to get those good career outcomes that i was able to get from my college when i reflect back on this i see that there were majorly three things that were missing with them the first one being not having the right guidance okay and the right mentorship which i had from manish the second aspect which i see is that a lot of these a lot of my friends were not working on building the right skills consistently right so they were building up some skill sets but they are not really focusing on building the right skill sets that are required into these companies mm. and therefore they fail the interview when they go there right and the third is not having some specialization for example having specialization in front end development or full stack development or data science right due to which their resume was not strong enough and was not getting shortlisted right in companies interviews itself mm. so this is what what is the emphasis of the accelerator program which is designed specially for college student we focus on building the right skill sets for our learner consistently while providing them personal mentorship from a experienced person who is already working in the industry and we help our learners build specialization according to the interest that they have and due to this uh we are also able to achieve very very good results from the learners that we enroll in boss coder academy so these are very good values i think that that you mentioned for starting boss coder academy in accelerator program but how exactly do you make sure that these values are implemented and students are getting benefited from your program yes yes so for example first thing that i mention is right guidance right so every student that enrolls in boss coder academy get a personal mentor they, these mentors are already working in top product companies like google like microsoft like amazon have 1 to 3 years of experience right. and they guide these their mentees these learners as they were their elder brothers or sisters mm. 
so they are really vested into the growth and success of the students that enroll in boss coder academy okay. right we also do a lot of alumni session where our alumni of boss coder who are placed do these sessions we do dare to dream session we do a lot of these messages on discord of the learners that are getting placed so that really make sure that our learners are always having the right guidance and they are motivated enough always to keep on learning and building skill sets then the second thing is right skills with consistency mm -hmm. right so our program is very very structured and only focuses on building the right skill sets our program focuses on building problem solving in data structures and algorithms programming language cs fundamentals system design and a specialization where you get multiple options mm -hmm. right so this program itself make sure that you are learning all the skill sets that are required to get into these top level these companies however the important aspect is as i mentioned you have to be consistent while building these skill set for consistency we have live classes which are again taken by people who are working in top product based companies right we have a very active community right we uh, also do a lot of these alumni sessions which i was talking about we assign student success managers and mentors who you are accountable to and that makes you much more consistent as well we have instant doubt support mm -hmm. so whenever you get stuck you can ask the questions to them and this keeps you unblocked and you don't really go into that mode where you are stuck for a very very long time so this helps our learners build right skill sets consistently and the third part is specialization right now college students have very very different interest when i talk to students some of them want to pursue full stack development some of them want to pursue data science some of them want to pursue blockchain web3 technologies so what i what we have done at boss coder is in the last phase of our course we have included specialization where we give options to our students you can do a full stack development specialization or you can do a data science specialization or you can do both of them as well if your interest lies and if you have time for that right so this is how we make sure that we provide our learners our students the right guidance the right skill sets and we are able to build specialization which gets their resume shortlisted for interviews so i am impressed with these features rajat and uh, these features are very good but uh, i am curious like uh, let's say uh, some companies hiring so uh, are they hiring let's say uh, tier 1 college students only right so how do you ensure that people who are from tier 2 or tier 3 colleges they are getting shortlisted in these companies and are able to give interviews as well so what uh, does your program do for that yes 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 no so of course if you are from a iit and it type of colleges getting opportunities uh, is much easier even these companies visit these campuses to hire people directly if you are from a college which is not very very famous or is not a very good college finding opportunities is hard first right. you will of course these companies will not visit your campus and then you have to apply offline right where there are opportunities but the competition is very high. very very high right so what we do is first of all even like before that let me tell you some statistics at boss coder we have 94% of placement rate with our college students right. and with the average ctc of more than 20 lakhs per annum so at boss coder accelerator program for every college student we definitely focus on helping them build the right skills mm. consistently so that they are prepared to crack these interviews and second we also spend a lot of time to make sure that we schedule interviews for these students at good product companies right now how do we schedule interviews how do we make sure that we schedule interviews for all the students is via four step approach the first step we are we work with every student one on one to optimize their profile okay to optimize their resume to optimize their linkedin profile their nokri profile or any job platform through which they apply offline yeah. 
second we do regular mock interviews in which they do mock practice of their actual interview hmm. from people who have actually taken interviews at these Com- top product companies so that helps them not do the mistake in an actual interview and increases the chances of hmm. getting them selected once they are in an interview right third we already have made tie ups with 400 plus good product companies wow. through which we can directly schedule interviews for our students at these companies and finally we have a very very active community of 1600 1700 people as of now mm-hmm. who are very supportive and give job opportunities and reference to almost every company that you can see uh, within the tech domain that's true. with this four step approach we have been able to helps to give a lot of interviews for our learners and that is why we are able to achieve such a great uh, career outcome at boss cobra accelerator program so this is my last question rajat and uh, this has been the question of our audience as well um, so what is the best uh, time to start for a college student to uh, start preparing for technical interviews and topics like dsa and system design like you mentioned So, Noor, I always believe the early you start, the better it is. I personally started from first year itself preparing for mm. top product companies. Okay. Even my brother Naman, I enrolled him in Boss Coder Accelerator program in first year itself. Oh. He is in Thapar University as of now. Now he is in second year, but I enrolled him in the Boss Coder course right. in the first year itself. And what happened because of that is now since he is in second year. he has a lot of knowledge mm. and is much ahead of the other students and other colleagues that he have in his batch that makes sense right uh, however i do see that most of the learners that joins our program are from either third year mm. and final year because that is when the right. internships and uh, the final placement start so definitely if you are in third year final year you can join the boss coder program and it will help you hmm. get ready for placements very very quickly right and would save a lot of time and will help you achieve great career outcomes okay. if you are in first year and second year right now i think it's a good time to join a course like this since it will give you that early start and it will also give you some time right. if you are let's like, say not very good at recursion right or let's like, say dynamic programming becomes your weak point weak you will point. still get time to become better at it mm. and maybe seeing the lectures again solving more problems asking more doubts and so that is what my thinking is that when they should uh, join the program yeah i think that makes sense uh, the earlier you start the more uh, time you have to build up your concepts so yeah it was a very uh, insightful session rajat thank you for joining and if you guys have any questions you can drop in the comments below and you can we will include the linkedin id of rajat as well you can uh, message him on linkedin uh, apart from that uh, we do regular search videos insightful videos with uh, people who are in top road companies and uh, bring you discussions regularly so please do subscribe us and uh, yeah don't forget to hit the bell icon thank you yeah thank you everyone for uh, joining in and listening to thank you rajat Thanks.